Connor, Vian, um, first time I met up with you. Yeah, um, first time. Give us a bit of a background, you know, where did boxing start for you? And uh, boxing started for me, you know, ever since I was a kid, he's in the family, you know, or been in the gym since probably about seven, eight, always, uh, always training and that, my older brother box, so I used to sort of uh, go down and watch him. Uh, really sort of took it up at the age of probably about 14 is when I started having belts. I uh, boxed, uh, joined the army young, joined the army at 16, joined the parachute regiment. So um, my boxing sort of took, took a uh, backward step then, carried on with my soldiering. Um, I already had about 20 amateur bouts at that point, juniors, um, and cracked on sort of in the parachute regiment. Uh, sort of went away, was quite busy. Um, come back from a well, I was serving abroad to Afghanistan and then um, boxing like a local club to my uh, to my barracks. Um, boxing like, you know, just doing my own thing. Got seen by uh, someone who mentioned about the, the army team. So I ended up going down there and then uh, ended up boxing full time for the, the, the British Army. Um, down there, you know, I, I won the, the army championship so I was there podium work for weight uh, for uh, like, over a year. And um, yeah, no, the army team's quality set up. You know, um, and yeah, we're very grateful to, uh, to be down there for two years. So you're saying, before you went on boxing for the army, you, were, you sort of had a few amateur bouts? Yeah, I mean, I always, always kept my hand in, you know, although I was busy soldiering, I always, you know, I was down the gym, sparring, training and all that, and then uh, you know, in my spare time, I was getting about in as and when I could. Yeah. Obviously now you've turned over, boxing pro, you've, yeah. had, you've had your pro debut, and like I see online, you're um, it's unfortunate you couldn't really have anyone there, you know, it's yeah. a dinner show from what I'm aware. Um, what does it mean to you, you know, now that you're going to be able to have that first bout? Yeah, well, uh, the first one, I uh, obviously, I sort of kept it quiet with the fact that, I mean, uh, I couldn't have no one there, unfortunately. And, um, I mean, but it was a good thing because, you know, I managed to get out before Christmas. You know, I've been training hard up to that point and um, I didn't have that added pressure of having, you know, a big, big following down there. I mean, I went there. You know, get the first one under the belt, get the job done, and um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. Um, you just sort of teamed up now in Colchester with Russell. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a good little stable building down there now, and there's a link up here with Norwich, and it kicks up with Graham, and you know, being managed here. And what's it like, you know, being able to get training in down there with your your little stable, and you all come up here and then sort of join the lads in Norwich as well? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I couldn't ask for a better setup than what I'm in. I'm right, extremely grateful and you know, right, lucky to be in the situation I'm in. Like I said, they're down in a uh, championship in Colchester with, with Russ and the rest of the lads. I mean, you know, it was like very few gyms that you get such great sparring. I mean, all talented. And uh, yeah, like I said, come up here, being under the watch for a while, great manager Graham, and then getting you know, more quality sparring up here. Um, everyone has dreams, everyone has goals. Um, it's early days for you in the pro game, but where would you like, you know? So in 10 years time for you to say, look, I, I had my crack and uh, what, what would you like to achieve? Me, I mean, I'm not, I'm not turned over for, you know, I mean, just for the sake of turning over or just to, uh, you know, earn money. I've turned over because I want to go to the top. You know, I can see myself, you know, in two years time, just have an area belt and then just sort of progress through. You know, I want, a, I want a Lonsdale belt. I want to be the best in my weight in the country. Well, best of luck. Thank um, you very much. Thanks for your time and I'll meet up with you again, either before or on the night. Yeah, cheers. Thank you.